Good morning, Cougars. I'm Evan. And I'm Lauren with your Thursday morning news. Our Cougar football team is coming off with a big win last week, keeping their playoff hopes alive heading into the final two weeks of the season. I'm Gary Devy, and this is Tomball Sports, and we're going to give you the lowdown on how football did last week. Hi, I'm Connor Perry, and uh, our offense did pretty good this week against Burnham. And, uh, we had one rushing touchdown by Jake Jeronic and a passing touchdown by me. And our defense did pretty good. My name is Brandon Peterson. Uh, our defense did really good against Burnham last game. One safety by Nathan Trotter. A pick six by Cameron Cummo. Two interceptions by me. I'm here with Natalia Munez and she's going to tell you about volleyball. We had a good one against Stratford on Tuesday, and we have a tiebreaker game at Waller against Brenham on Friday. So, The Miss Tomball pageant is coming up soon, and we're continuing to take a look at some of the candidates each week. Ms. Dio's team leadership and professional communication classes are making these signs and hanging them around school. <laughs> these signs say, take what you need and have little tabs with happy thoughts like love or strength. So pull one off whenever you need it. We mentioned last week that the newspaper has a new feature called Faces of Tomball. Here's a sample of those new videos. I guess you could say it was something that I've always done that um, it just came natural to me so I started experimenting and started doing it more okay. and perfecting it. Our class is at school and then a lot of practice, over a hundred sketchbooks and a lot of YouTube. <laughs> so a lot of money too. <laughs> yeah. Emotions like jealousy or anger or happiness or dread or something. Or when I'm just plain bored, like after a test in class. So. It's my own expression, like no one else can influence that except for me. So it's my own, no one can tell me what to do. Even though they can try, I'll probably just ignore them. So. Getting caught for the trip though, isn't it? To watch this and other videos and to keep up with all the news on campus, check out thscougarclaw.com. The CTE job fair was a huge hit, with a bunch of employers coming to campus to interview students about job opportunities. Students dropped off resumes and snack to interviews, and the community got to see what tremendous future employees are producing here at THS. Congrats to all involved in the successful program. This weekend is Halloween, and we were curious just how old is too old to go trick-or-treating. DJ Dokes, and I'm gonna be Desmond Dokes. Gang, gang, 300. I'm gonna dress up as Superwoman. I have to dress up for work the day before Halloween, so I'm gonna be like a cute little 60s girl so I can take a picture with my Volkswagen bug. That's 30. Uh, I wanna be a SWAT because I like to be a police officer, and that's what I wanna be when I get older. I'm gonna be Where's Waldo, but a girl version. No, I'm definitely not too old for it. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm too old. I don't think I'm too old at all. Like, it's the time to be scary, so we're gonna go scare people. And then, you're never too old, like, come on. No, I'm gonna go trick-or-treating, probably, for sure. No, you're not too old for trick-or-treating, but I usually just pass out candy. I do not think I'm too old to trick-or-treat. Nope, I don't think I'm too old to go trick-or-treating. <laughs> yeah. We're not too old to trick-or-treat. I like candy. Yeah, me too. Happy Halloween. Red Ribbon Week continues tomorrow as everyone should wear their favorite college shirt. To help you get into the spirit, student council will have face painters in the LGI to get you decked out in school colors for your favorite college team. Now, let's check in with the cheerleaders for the latest news. Hi guys, I'm Carly Hay and this is Mary Gwynn and we are your THS varsity cheer captains. 
Tomorrow morning, we are heading down to the 93Q radio station to perform a cheer that we have worked really hard on. And it is a contest between eight other schools. And if we win, we get a free Scotty McCreary concert for the whole school. So make sure that y'all help us win and reach our goal. And the way that we win is by getting the most votes. So throughout that day, whenever the voting polls open, if y'all just text like all day and vote all day, then we'll win. All right, let's get out of class and go see Scotty McCreary. We return to our behind the scenes team this week to check out our swim teams. <laughs> They're always super duper fun. I mean, we're always there like three hours before we even start, but it's still really cool. Being aggressive, because I'm a very aggressive person, so being able to kind of like get my anger out on people, that's fun. Probably playing Sharks and Minnows and Super Smash Bros while we don't have practice. Hardest part of swim is when coach really makes us, makes us sprint, basically 2,000, 3,000 meters nonstop, and we get like 15 seconds of break. That's a real pain in the butt. Um, my favorite swim memory would have to be cheering on my friend Abe, saying, Go huevos! Which means eggs. And finally, a quick update on band's area competition yesterday. That's all today, Cougars. Good luck to football and volleyball tomorrow night as they try to extend their seasons. A big shout out to Miss Taylor for helping with our decorations today. Have a great weekend and enjoy your Halloween.